Three News Now stories on bad behavior along the Bayfront area around Dobbins Landing. Landing is getting plenty of attention. Erie News Now Lisa Adams continues to follow this story. And Lisa, is the city working on any solutions yet? Good question. Good evening. As we have reported over the last couple of days, Erie police are already increasing their presence there and have organized a special detail to do so. As for collaboration between the city, the Port Authority and businesses, well, that seems to be a work in progress. Our stories this week showing an Uber driver's video of the types of problems have been getting plenty of attention. Erie Police, Bayfront Business Owners and the Erie Port Authority all say they want to stop crowds of unruly people from impacting the safety or good experiences of others visiting Erie's waterfront. Erie City Council did not take it up in caucus today, but members did share their safety concerns during committee reports at the end of today's public council meeting. Police Chief Dan Spazarni tells us a meeting between Erie Police and the Port Authority officials is expected for next week. As far as ideas like improving lighting, City Council is waiting to see if the Mayor's Office and Public Works bring forth a plan. And I think that's really the first step is to literally shed light on the situation. So I'm hoping that the Port Authority and our public works and as well as public safety can come together to find some solutions to create a safer feeling environment. It is an imminent issue. And so I think that means that something as small as lighting, which can have such a positive effect, is something that we should act extremely swiftly on. And of course, the spot will be extra busy when the city puts on its Lights Over Lake Erie fireworks display on July 3rd at 10 p.m. Police Chief Dan Spazarni told me Erie police officers will be stepping up their presence on the Bayfront area, not just on weekends, but seven days a week. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.